Right then, following the Coleridge Way from Holford, been past our Foxon House, past our Foxon Cottage, a couple of other places, signposts to kill, there's East Quantock Head straight across over there. We're carrying on, we should be at the Smith's Coombe entrance very soon now. Almost to the place, the junction which I reached two days ago, not yesterday, day before. As you can see, there are lots of ways up onto the top. I could have got up on the top easy, but the idea that defeats the whole object of doing the coom, of which I've got no idea if it's really bad to go up, would it be better to leave it till the um, winter when everything's died down? We'll see. Because if that's the case, I will have to take other action. Because I'm not, I don't really want to walk through something that is like that. It's got to be a proper path. But of course, sometimes the paths do narrow and get overgrown. You know, so. And if they aren't used very much, I mean, I haven't seen nobody walking at all. I haven't met one, nobody. I've been out for a couple of hours now. I know I spent time looking around on Fox and House. But, um, yeah, the coom we're looking for is Smith's coom. And it's something like that will go up through. It's, well, I've got no idea. It's all part of exploring. I've seen it before and I thought, I know it comes out up on the top. I know that from the map. But I've got no idea if it's really going to be difficult to negotiate or... You know, I haven't got a clue, really. Here we come to a field of horses here. And if we look over there, that wood over there, see that wood right over there? That's the wood that you go around if you want to walk from East Quantock's Head to Kilve Church. I've done all that in the last week or so. I've been exploring this area. These all look like pretty well-bred horses in here. And as you can, if you noticed, we're going down and down. I do make things difficult for myself because I know I've got to go up, 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 up. But we'll just take our time like I always do. I'm going to take on board a bit more water in a minute. Because it could be, if I'm going up a comb, I mean, you could call that a comb, couldn't you? But who wants to go up something like that? That will not happen. I will not be doing that. I will not be doing that. So I'm just showing you a bit of the terrain again. Some of my videos I'm not going to share for that the other, from the other day because they're too shaky and I'm on zoom and I'm just not going to bother. I'll keep them for myself. So here we got a nice little trickling brook. So there's water getting through somewhere isn't there? Despite no rain there's still water from somewhere. It's amazing that isn't it? That is still water. Doesn't it ever run out? Well this probably was here when Wordsworth and Coleridge came. Going down, this is probably the same brook that we see going into, that I crossed the other day, going into, um, when I was going to Kilve, between East Quantock Head and Kilve, I crossed this little stream, and there's also one in East Quantock Head as well. Right, I think we carry on here, but of course there's a gate there, but no sign to say go that way, is there? That's into that field there where those, those horses are. It's probably a way around. No, there's a way up there. But some ways, look how narrow they are. You'd have to battle through ferns. See? You'd have to battle through ferns. That wouldn't be a, that wouldn't be fun. That'd be too much, especially snakes and ticks about. Now here we have a tributary which has dried up. So some some are working, some ain't. That gate don't look very secure over there, does it? <coughs> it 
Yeah, that goes. It's not very secure. Those horses, if they felt like it, they could easily get through there. Couldn't they? You see, on uh, tracks like this, which are wide and pebbly, you're not having to fight the ferns or other creatures so much. Just going to take my hat off for a little while. I probably haven't needed it on um, on this stage of the walk. So we're going up through there now, out into the sunshine. Hello horses. Now I don't want to walk through lots of ferns. The only thing that's putting me off perhaps doing that coom either is the fear of um, horse flies. I get attacked by them big time. They're really awful. And of course, you know, if I'm going to follow a coom, it could be that might that might actually be a mistake. Right, over and out for a minute.